Say hi. Hey. Oh, good. This is me. Hi. <laughs> me and Ganesh. We're here. <laughs> Uh huh. Here's mm. in the redwoods. Me in the redwoods, fetishes in the redwoods here. <laughs> that was around this neighborhood, so nice and unseen in the redwoods. <laughs> hmm, another fantasy. Here's another photograph that I took Sally Benford and her dog. Mm. Jake, the pool. And fans here, mm -hmm. paper mm -hmm. with Rachel and Alexis, and we'll be in here. <laughs> I think this is too more more recent. No, not this one. Not this one. These are all more recent. Oh, here's the stormy leather one shoot. Mm -hmm. I did this too. This I couldn't get over this as a woman on the street in the porn district in San Francisco painting the marquee for this, you know, adults only place. She was so beautiful doing that, so all about people really doing it, making the porn on the street and in the movies. G spot jitters. <laughs> Here's the full dagger. There you are. Data sheet. <laughs> there I am. Getting a perm. The very first issue, right? I don't th was it yeah, it says it's number one, yeah. Yeah. Full dagger of the season, there I am. <laughs> <laughs> and the little girl. <laughs> and I came out, the bulldogger grew out of this little girl right here. <laughs> Do you remember how you ended up being in the first issue? I do, you know. I just had this... Uh, I had this fantasy and that it, it just, there was something that was just percolating, cooking in my head uh, that was a result of everything that was happening around me and it was, you know, to kind of like stand this Playboy centerfold idea on its head um, from... I would say it was from a feminist perspective, but I didn't really have a very, you know, resounding feminist perspective. It's just like, well, oh, something about this is working, but not everything. What would I do if I was a centerfold, and how can I reflect back to them our values, uh -huh. you know? And so I'm like, I'm just hatching this scheme, and I'm talking about it, and Everybody's looking at me like, oh, you want to be a centerfold? I'm like, well, not the regular kind of centerfold, you know, but uh -huh. just something that will, you know, uh, make a difference, shake people up, show them, show them the other side. What does the other side of the mirror look like? Who's over there? Hee, here <laughs> I am. Here I am. I'm here. <laughs> So that was the original intention, but it, you know, had, it didn't just like, oh, great idea, you know, it had to flow past some tests here.
it made quite a splash. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. People like, they didn't, people that saw it, they didn't like, is this for real? Well, is this it? Well, this is some of, here it is. Right here. Oh, the subway. This is it. Psychosexual subway map of urban lesbian life. Oh, look at that. Mm hmm. Then this little thing is what's in there. Mm hmm. And this is the issue on our backs. Third anniversary issue. Summer. 1987. And it says Honey Lee right on the cover there. Or did you oh, write I that on? I, I put that oh, on. yeah. Uh -huh. that's, that's my issue. So I'm your tour guide, your tour guide, Honey Lee Cottrell, with design assistance from Annie Doring. Ann Doring. So here's that image. You know, I never knew that was in the magazine till now. And here's the map. Oops. So, here's the sin. I think this the is sin. New York. Yeah. Um. Yeah, this is mm -hmm. Paris here. And here's some of the lesbi lesbian iconography. And it's like, you were probably born before World War II ended if you can't shake the feeling you may be arrested while buying Calvin Klein boxer shorts for women, even if they are for your lover. Mm -hmm. On a scale of 1 to 10, how do you rate your paranoia quotient when you use tampons, are seen in public with a man, feel like fucking on the first date, hear a wolf whistle and su suspect it's a woman you know very well? <laughs> I don't know. This is Susie and me. This is... How many women do you know who once picketed an S&M event and now have their own dungeon? You can't begin couples counseling because all your friends believe you have the ideal lesbian relationship. So here's the Pigal District, Diversity Union Station. Where is that? I don't know. What are you? What do you say when you are asked to keep a sex secret you've already heard? Here's Susie again. Here's I forget her name, but it's an Asian American woman. Stripper, two strippers, Susie and me. Oh, here's the big, <laughs> I don't know. Here's, <laughs> I don't know. All those underground, under, underneath, under, under everything. Psychosexual. Some of that comes from Gail. Her, like, Lacanian theoretical, all of the women who had their circles of people in France, uh -huh. literary circles, and yeah. so we're like, I don't know, this is all mixed up together. Very alluring. Yeah, so the, the French. some of the, in, get the information that's coming. Oh, we're not the first. Oh, other people did this before. So, oh, you know, where are they? Oh, they're in Paris. Oh, they're all dead now. <laughs> oh, I'm too late. <laughs> <gasps> what are we doing now? This is what we're doing now. We're on the subways eating Butterfingers. <laughs> <laughs> and going through all of our dirty laundry. 
All right. That's funny. Let's nail that one down. Write That's it down. That's good. Is that Susie? No. I'm not quite sure who that is, but it should be named. Cover by Bertie Ramirez, models Racy Ray and Jules. Hmm. All right, so that is third anniversary issue number 13. What is on our back? It's a long-awaited debut of a new sexual entertainment magazine for lesbians. What are the rates for advertising? Who should I contact right away? This photo journal is the product of our common desire to see published a high quality anthology of photographs by women. It's our aim to receive work from the widest representation of women photographers possible. That meant creating a new definition for the word pornographer. It meant encouraging women who take snapshots to see their work as important. It also meant that we had to value equally the image making of those women who document personal aspects of their lives and whose lens is aimed at their surroundings, environmental and cultural. Hmm. Well, that is good news. That is good news, then and now. Yes, chapter 2, this is this, you know, photo shoot that we did for On Our Backs of a fashion kind of thing. So, a Brolo, a clothes store, donated these clothes. We did a fashion shoot down in my, in the uh, basement of my apartment on Bessie Street. I'm just kind of like amazed. I was... You struggle so much with the lighting and stuff, and everything looks so beautiful here. I mean, I'm like kind of bowled over by the tones in here, and and some of the some of the work. Um, I don't know. I like. I'm like, wow. Why don't we just do this whole photo fashion? exhibit of these folks here then. I mean, it goes with the statement, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. What is honor box? <laughs> mm -hmm. Honor box is this. <laughs> yeah, it was great to work with that many people. There's one, two, four, five people. Wow. All dude it up. Yeah. I don't know. They need to be turned loose. I don't know. I'm, I'm glad we're turning them loose on Cornell, but I'm like, oh, man, you know. Who's going to be lining up at Cornell to see these things? 